dream. But this show is to encourage you, to uplift you, and to let you know that dreams do come true. And I'm telling you right now, listen, stay connected with me. Email me, Troy at gmail.com. Troy at gmail.com. Stay connected. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. Y'all know, I, listen, I take pictures. Yes, I do. You know, follow me at, at pick by design, at pick, P-I-C-B-Y design. I'm telling you, I love taking pictures. It became a hobby for me. It, it was just a passion for me. And, and, and that passion turned into a business, which turned into a purpose to be a blessing to somebody else. All I'm saying is, don't worry about getting from A to Z. I've told you that before. But I'm telling you right now, get from A to B. Just take that one step, and it'll get you closer to where you're trying to go. Have a dream. Have a plan. Have a vision. Ruben, I told you before, listen, Hamilton Radio is going some places. I'm telling you right now, it's, it's going greater than what we see right now. And I've told you before, I need you to get ready and plan for your yes. So whatever door that you're knocking on, I need you to be ready so when the door opens, you're ready to walk into it. Don't, don't have the door open and be like, I don't, I'm not sure. What, no, 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 no. You got to know what it is that you want. Something. And let me just say this. The first thing is, do you want something better? Do you want something more? And I'm telling you right now, let's start right there. You may not know what it is. But you know that you want it, it. You feel it. You may not have told anybody. You may not have told your parents, your brother, your sister, your aunt, your uncle. Your, but you know there's something down on the inside of you that's saying, you know what? I know I want to do this. or I know I want to take that step. Well, listen, Troy Alexander, with inspiration, we're here to help you to get over to, to, to whatever the divide is to help bridge that. I was thinking we went about bridges this week. And, 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 and I said to y'all, I love nature. I love natural stuff. We talked about birds and we talked about mountains. And listen, somebody had a post on, on, on social media, and it was a big tree, a huge tree, Ruben. And, and, and the caption was, it used to be a seed. All I'm saying is, what, you may not see everything right now, but you got to know that, that there's something that's trying to come out of it, that it's, it's, it's more from you. It's more coming, because I know you feel it, because I felt it. And I know I'm, I know I'm not the only one. I know that, that, there was, that there was something greater that was destined for my life. It just wasn't the job that I had during my 9 to 5. I love my 9 to 5, but I knew back then there was still something more that I had to come, that I had to go forth with. Because my calling was to inspire. That, that has been my, my, my livelihood. That's been my purpose. That's been, but I'm telling you right now, I knew there was something more. And I got to tell you right now, I, I, I've had an amazing week. Um, um, I, I was telling people early, listen, I, I had our worship service on Friday night. And y'all know I've been talking about that. And I'm telling you right now, it was, it was wonderful. I, I, I loved every minute to, to, to sing. Anybody who's a singer, if, if, if you're a singer, you know what I'm about to say. I'm telling you right now because it's a wonderful feel to, to, to express what you feel through song. Now, some of you all are writers. Some of you all are singers. Some of you all are actors. Some of you all may be dancers. But it's an expression of something greater of what you're trying to sing. And I'm telling you right now, it was wonderful, Ruben. And then, then I left Friday night and I came on to uh, 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 Saturday. Saturday picked up some, some groceries from a person that was donating, and I brought them to the church. And then I, I, I met with the young people at the church that was having a, a, a program there. Then I went to play rehearsal. Went to play rehearsal, and then Sunday got up, and I had a, a, another opportunity to sing this morning, Reuben. And I'm telling you, it was, we had an awesome time today. And then I'm back here. I'm, no, then I had play rehearsal after church, and now I'm back here in Robbinsville. Listen, y'all, I'm telling you right now, it is about... Surrounding yourself with, with people and places that's going to encourage you to go forward, despite what you feel and despite what you see. And I've told you this over and over. I've been there. Didn't know where my next meal was coming from. I've been there. Uh, 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 didn't know. Listen, I told you right now, me having a radio show is a miracle in and of itself. Because I stuttered so bad as a child, fear, and I've said this, fear consumed my life. Didn't know what I was going to do in life because I couldn't talk. But I'm telling you right now, every chance I get, I'm going to encourage somebody, especially young people, but to encourage somebody to let them know that it's not over. Where you are right now is just the beginning of something greater. What I realize now is 
everything that I struggled with, everything that I, 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 I went through was designing me for where I am. I'm going to say that again because somebody need to hear that. What you dealt with yesterday or five years ago or 20 years ago was designing you. Didn't feel good in the moment, but I'm telling you right now, it was designing you for the moment that you're in now. And if not that moment, the next moment. Because you got to realize there's always something coming after this. You got to realize, I, I know this is not just it for me. I love this. this is, I'm, I'm excited, Ruben, but I'm telling you right now, Hamilton Radio, I'm telling you right now, it's, it's growing. Hamilton Radio is growing right now. So I, listen, stay connected with me. I told you, right? Email me, Troy at gmail.com. But listen, I got another event coming up, uh, a wonderful event this Saturday, uh, December 29th at 6 p.m. at Second Baptist Church in Metuchen, New Jersey, 100 Durham Avenue. I'm telling you, it's going to be our annual concert of calls. It's just a, a, a concert that cares. It's to reach out to raise money for the volunteer fire department there. I'm telling you right now, it was led in my heart to, to, to just be a blessing to the community. And I've said it before, Second Baptist Church in that borough opened this door so, so, so that our nonprofit can go forth and be a blessing to the community and everybody. So I said, you know what? I want to be a blessing to the people in the community. So this, Friday, this Saturday, uh, December 29th, 6 p.m., it's going to be a wonderful event, and I'm so excited about it, Ruben. I'm telling you right now, I, I'm, I'm already seeing what it's going to look like and, and, and how it's going to go forth, and I'm telling you right now, it's, 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 it's about seeking and pressing your way. And being a, listen, I, I, I've said it, every blessing that I get, I'm going to be a blessing to somebody else. This is not just for Troy Alexander. This is for Troy Alexander and everybody connected with Troy. I got some people right here today that took advantage of an opportunity. Every week I come on here and say, listen, come to the studio. You can watch it live. Get a chance to meet the producer and, and, and the owner of, of the show and meet myself and talk after the show and, and ask questions. And, and ask of our guests, call, I'm telling you right now, take advantage of every opportunity that comes your way. And I declare right now, it will, it will bring you to a greater place. But I feel led to say this, Ruben, you got to press your way. Because there's going to be some things that's going, going, to, going to come against you. People are going to say to you, uh, uh, Troy, you can't do that. You're not qualified enough. Well, let me just say this. I've never went to school for this. I didn't go to school to be on radio, to be an announcer. To, I didn't go to No. But I knew that it was something in me because I did it what? I took my phone, y'all. I was home. I would do videos, right, you know, and, and I would record and share them that way. So you might not have a studio, but you got a phone. Everybody got a phone. Make your own studio if you can't get to Hamilton right now. But I encourage you, whatever resources that you have to, in your hands, I've said it before, use what's in your hands. It's in your mouth. It's in your, the ability to, 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 to do something greater than where you are right now. So all I'm saying is whatever you have, Use what you have. I'm telling you right now, and it's going to take you to a better place. It's going to let you know it's not over. Listen, every week um, we, we have an I am section, and I, an I am is about a declaration. I got about four minutes before our guest calls in, and I'm telling you right now, um, um, the I am declaration is about opening your mouth and declaring something greater than where you are right now. Um, listen, I've, I've said it before. I am going to be a billionaire. I mean, it's, it's not like I don't. I don't waver, I don't, I don't not, no, 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 because I've said it so much that, that it's, 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 it's a known thing, even to me. Sometimes you got to tell yourself to get to the point where you realize it yourself before somebody else realizes. But I'm telling you right now, it's, it's, it's about having businesses. I got these two buildings in my mind, and I've said it before, it might be more than that, but I got the vision, I got the sketches. Ruben, I got the print. I, I, I got the outline of what the hallway going to look like. I was working some, some more on it this week. Yes, I was. I'm telling you right now. The grand opening is coming, Ruben. The grand opening is coming. I'm telling you right now. Get ready. Your grand opening is coming. Why can't you own that own business? Why can't you be that CEO? Why can't you have the things that you say? It's not just Oprah. It's not just uh, 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 Gates. It's not just uh, these people had a vision. And, 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 and if my memory served me right, uh, uh, Bill Gates' room began in the garage. And, 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 and so everybody starts somewhere. But all I'm saying is it went from a garage to Microsoft being around the world. So all I'm saying is take whatever you have. Might not look like much. That's okay. But you keep pressing and you keep putting one step 
in front of, let me just say this before I guess because I feel it. Don't worry about how fast somebody else is going. Some, just because it took them uh, 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 two months and it might take you two years, that's okay. The point of the matter is it's about developing you for something because that two months brought them to a place, but those two years is going to bring you to another place. So all I'm saying is don't worry about how, how other people are moving. You just keep moving in, in what you feel your destiny, your purpose that's been aligned for you. So I'm telling you right now, I'm excited right now. So listen, I've said every week, you can come here. This is my last show right here in this building. We're getting ready to move to another building. Let me say that again. Hamilton Radio is getting ready to move to another building. So I'm going to applaud Hamilton Radio because I'm telling you right now, we talked about this, Ruben. We talked about expanding Hamilton. Before, the first time I, I said we're going to grow together, we're going to cry together, and we're going to get there together. It's all about together. We're going to get to a place. And I'm telling you right now, I'm excited about what's to take place. Before I, 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 I got another guest calling, uh, that's going to be calling in, listen, outside of this coming Saturday, I, I told you about this amazing event. If you can make it out, I want to come and see you. I want to see you there if you can make it out. Again, Saturday, December 20, 6 p.m., Second Baptist Church in Metuchen, New Jersey. I'm telling you, uh, if, 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 you need, if you have any questions, call me. We've got some singers dancers it's just going to be a wonderful celebration to be able to say to those who sacrificed their lives for the life of others thank you so much we appreciate you so i'm excited y'all i'm telling you and then i got one more uh event if you're able to make it uh january 5th i told you that my mother she's a playwright and she has written this gospel play i'm telling you it's about the rapture and it's going to be on january 5th at seven o'clock and you know where Second Baptist Church, 100 Durham Avenue in Matunta, New Jersey. So if you can make it out, uh, free will offer, no admission fee. Just, just come. Just come. And again, we want to bless the house, but no admission fee. Anybody, come on. So that's January 5th, 7 o'clock, Second Baptist Church in Matunta, New Jersey, 100 Durham Avenue. So I'm telling you right now, we are excited. And I'm telling you right now, I'm getting, I got one more thing because I call, had just called in. We're having a mentoring at the mall. I'm telling you, January 12th from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock at the food court. I'm telling you, but you got an RSVP now. All I want to do is help you develop your plan of action. Yes, I do. I want to be, I'll counsel you, I'll consult with you, academic, whatever your goal is in life. I'll work with you and sit down with you. I only got five slots now, y'all. Five slots. So, again, January 12th at the Menlo Park Mall, uh, RSVP now. Because if you're not RGP, I can't, I, I won't have room for you. So I'm telling you right now. So I'm telling you, but I'm excited. I'll talk more about that on our shows to come. Is our guest ready, Ruben? Yeah. All right. Is she the, all right. Hi, Anna L. Hi, how are you? I am fantastic. How are you? Good. I am so excited. Listen, everybody, before I, I have Anna L. speak at all, this is Anna L. Charles. And I'm telling you right now, she is from Paris, France. Uh, she is 21 years of age. Uh, she just recently graduated with a Bachelor's of Science in Exercise Science from Arkansas State University. I'm going to clap on that one, Anna L. Um, and, and she is pursuing her Master's in Exercise Science and Physiology in the spring of 2019. Anna L. is an athlete, a track athlete, and she, she holds two school records at Arkansas State University. I'm telling you right now, the 800 and the 1500, and we are just so excited, Anna L., that you are available to uh, uh, be on our show. Thank you so much for being on our show. Of course. And let me just say this. Um, everybody, um, now, you, now you were born in Paris, France? Yes, correct. And, and, and so one of the things that inspired me about your bio when, 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 when we were going back and forth, is that you didn't speak English. No, I did not. It so, was bad. So, so, so you talked about how you didn't speak. Now, now when did you come over to, to, uh, to the U.S.? Um, I came for the first time about three years ago, three years and a half. And um, I was planning on going to college, and then you had to um, – English girl and learn English. So just by speaking with everyone, I was I just you know learned. Awesome, awesome. Well, listen now. How how long did it take you to learn English? Um, 
Um, about two or three months, I guess. Wow. After after two or three months, I, I couldn't speak. But then I guess my act, like by the time my accent, um, to work on my accent and everything, it took maybe six months. Wow, wow. Listen, and I, and and you are such a, an inspiration because because some people would have let that to block them or to hold them back from something greater that was destined for their lives. How did you, how did you, how was you able to manage to continue to work on that and to say, this is what I want? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's my personality. When I want something, I work for it until wow. I get it. Awesome. Awesome. And, and, and I love that about you because you said you work on it um, until you get it. And, and, yes. and, and the one thing about this show, Anna L., is this show encourages all of our callers, all of our listeners to, to, to press their way. And, and, and no matter the challenge, to be able to just continue and to press forward. How, what was it that motivated you to, to, to keep pressing forward? Was for there a track, moment or a person? I, huh? Come here. What, what is it for, like, for track or to come here and speak no, English? To, to, to come here and learn English. Well, my goal was to go to college, so wow. I had to learn English, and I want to be on the track team, so I had to learn English as well. It was like just one door to get to the other door, so wow. English was the first step. I love it. I love it. I love it. And, and, and I'm going to applaud you on that one because what you just said, Anna L., was so powerful. What you just said was in order to get to the other door, you had to go through this door. And, and, yes. and that, was, that is so powerful what you just said. Now, listen, I understand you started running track because, again, everybody, I got to say again, she holds two track records at Arkansas State University. That is awesome and amazing. And I need to say because what, what, what people don't realize is to hold the track record, I mean, you had to, like, really work very hard, I'm sure, to get to that place. So, yeah, so for sure. What, what, what year did you um, have this record? Your, your freshman year or your sophomore year? Or your junior year? No, it was last year, my junior year. Your junior year? Yes. Wow. And listen, I got to ask you, because you started running track when you were 14 years of age. Is that right? Yes, yeah, that's correct. And, and, and running wasn't your passion at first? Um, at first, I just like to win. <laughs> just, you know, have this. Yes. <laughs> just racing, but training was not. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> but, but when I read your bio, Anna L., it was amazing because you said you just love to win. Yes. And, and, and where did that come from? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I just, uh, I like, uh, I'm really competitive and I just like the challenge. Wow, awesome. Of just um, going forward and it's about beating yourself. It's yeah. not about, you know, competing against others. Wow. Because like if you give up in your mind, then yes. you're done. Yes. So you have to beat yourself first. I love it. I love it. I love it. And, and what you just said is the ability to compete against yourself and, and, yes. and, and not really worry so much about other people. But, but so many of yes. us allow others to distract us from our purpose or what our goal is or what we're trying to achieve. How did you deal with the distractions? Because I'm sure that it wasn't easy all the time. So, so how no, did you... I mean it takes time, like, with experience, you learn. At first, like, obviously, you focus on others, and you just um, kind of, it kind of stress you out, and, like, you worry about what's around you, and you try to compare yourself of uh, so-and-so uh, did this race and did better than me. That's not what it's about. Right. You have to focus on your own progress and, like, everybody trying to get better. Yes. And then eventually it comes around. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, listen, I, I, I have to applaud you because... You've had so many challenges that, that, that you've described to me, and not only one being having to learn English. I mean, I can't even imagine having to learn. An, well, again, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm not fluent in any other language other than English. So I've, I've tried, you know, my coworkers, I've got family and friends that, 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 that speak multiple languages. They try to help me, but I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, I, I'm hard to help. But, I mean, I know I can do it, I guess, if I wanted to, right? Yeah, it's all about motivation, depending <laughs> on <laughs> what's your goal and <laughs> what right. motivates you. That's right. If, 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 if Ruben came to me and said, Troy, we're going to start a Spanish station, and Troy, I want you on it, I guess I would, ha I guess I would have, to, have to learn it, right? 
Yes, <laughs> so, you would have to. So, so I'm, I'm excited, and, I, and I'm just so grateful that you're here. Now, listen, you, 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 you talked about um, wanting to win and, and having that desire. What, what does winning do for you? What, how does that make you feel? Well, it makes me feel good. Like, I'm just um, thinking about, all, like, um, every time I was on the track and working and um, about my um, field, and I'm like, well, I didn't work for nothing. <laughs> it all finally yes. came to something. Absolutely, absolutely. And what I love is, is the fact that you, that you continue to set goals for yourself. You know, that, yes. that, that, that it wasn't just one, or, or two, but, but you continue to pursue. Now, listen, you got to tell me, Annelle, because, listen, all the way from Paris, France, I, I'm, 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 now you, you were uh, planning to come here, and I understand that, that there were some people that were helping you, and you were looking at some, some colleges, but when, about, about two weeks, you said, before you came, the coach that you were talking to left and moved away. Yes, that was a rough time. So the story is before I came, so I came to the U.S. a year after my um, uh, high school degree, and um, I was talking to a coach, and um, he was from Tennessee, and he was like, well, we, uh, we really like your profile, and I really want you to come to the university. You would be like a great addition to the team, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, great. Um, but my English is really bad, so what do I do about that? He was like, well, don't worry about it. Just come and um, we'll try to talk to the university and take, um, give you some English class, you know, English first language things. And I was like, okay, but can I still um, train the team? And he was like, yes, but you can't compete, which I understand since I was not in the wow. university. So um, two weeks before I got there, he texted me and said, hey, um, I'm sorry, I just, I'm moving to Alaska, but the other coach is going to take care of me. And I was like, okay, I'm assuming that they already talked about everything and um, they uh, communicate information, right? And um, so I came, uh, when I went there, the other coach was not uh, aware of, what wow. was going on and wow. he told me no sorry you can't train the team according to NCAA rules blah blah, blah you can't and I was debated it I was like there's no way I'm going to train for six months alone without a team yeah. um, there's like no track in the university they have to go to uh, the high school to uh, train and I didn't have a car and thing. I mean it was a mess it was just a mess so I just contacted my um, agency like to change school and then yeah it was it was hard. Wow. I can only imagine. Well, I, can't, I can't even imagine that, where, 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 where you're talking to a coach for so long, and then, and then two weeks before you come, you, you find that they move away. And then... Yes, and my papers were already done. My visa, everything. I couldn't just, like, change my mind. Like, right. I, it was too late. Right. So, so I had to go. So, so you came, and, and I understand that you weren't even able to run with the team like until like 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 six months later um well for the six months i couldn't um work i mean um train and compete because i was not an NCAA athlete i was just here to learn english wow. Wow. but then my plan was to join the team in january but like uh train with the team while i could like you know wait Right, right, right. But right. I, I was not allowed. I was. I didn't know anything about American system and, and the rules and like athletes or what whatsoever. I just didn't know. But oh. the coach let me hear that I could. So I was like, okay, yeah, that, that's fine. Like right. I can just learn English, train the team, and then just join um, for competition in January. But it wasn't the case. How How did you manage doing that? Like, what What were you? What was going through your mind? Because I can only imagine. Um. I was like, I need to get out of here. <laughs> I can't stay here. <laughs> no wow. way. Wow. So, yeah, I called my agency in France, and I was like, listen, I can't stay here, and you need to help me. <laughs> so she was like, it's fine. Just We're going to like do another um, uh, video presentation, you know, how they do um, for coaches. And, like, I retook my English test yes. to with college and everything, and I passed it. And... Uh, yeah, like several coaches yes. uh, contacted me, and then I chose Arkansas State. Now, let me just say this, Anna L. One, one thing that, again, I applaud you because you have gone through. So your journey has, has been amazing. So, again, not only are the fact that, that you didn't know English, so you, you learned another language, then you're working with somebody who you're close with that's helping you get to another place 
then that person leaves. Then the other person doesn't really know everything that's going on. Uh, and then you find out that you were registered for the English test and the classes to, to learn English, but wasn't registered at the university. Yes. Oh, my goodness. And, 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 and so all this time is going by. Now, listen, what I love about what you just said uh, is that you retook the test. Why? Why did you retake the test? Sorry? I said you took the English test again. Why did you take it again? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know. Well, I listen, just went through it. Yeah. At, well, see, one thing that I, I, I was reading and I was, pro I was processing was that um, you wanted a better score. And I know that you were working on some things. And, um, but yes. Yeah. But what I realized about you is that you, you kept moving is that you kept yeah. pushing forward and you kept, but did you have anybody around you? Like, like how did you, was it books? Was it something that you watched? Was it people? Like, like how did you stay yeah, motivated? I had, I had a teacher, my English teacher was like amazing. She was like a, a grandma to me. Um, she, um, she's a little person, she talks a lot and she always pushes me. Um, she was like, Anel, it's fine, we're gonna help you for the paperwork. And, and everything yeah. she a whole like had my back and i, I know some awesome. days it was really really hard like i was homesick and i couldn't go home for christmas the first year because wow. it was like just too much and paperwork and everything so um yeah she helped me a lot and like i'm so grateful for her and um she showed she showed me around um like the campus around a few days and then we found this little uh chapel and i remember like um going back and forth because they had like a big piano and like I played music since I was little so uh finding this place was like great like I think playing music like helped me a lot too wonderful wonderful listen well we're so proud of you Anna L and all of those that have supported you because I'm telling you right now um it is when you think about see Arkansas State University like that's not a small school I mean that, that's a that's a fairly large university and and yeah. and, and so to to hold two track records, to me, is a, now, is your goal, is one of your goals to be in the Olympics? Yes, <laughs> of wow. course. Um, I'm not too focused on it. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to um, set smaller goals, but definitely at the end, it would be good to <laughs> go to the Olympics. Wow, that is phenomenal. Well, listen, I'm so excited about uh, you, Anna L, and all that you've done and all that you've accomplished. And it has been amazing. But I got to go back a little bit because, again, you said you started track when you were running about age 14 years of age, right? Yes. And then not too long after that, you tell me that you finished uh, second um, in the 800 indoors and 10th in the nation cross country. What, what age were you then? Um, I was 15, 16 maybe. Wow. Yeah. Wow, and, and so you're telling me that at about age 15 to 16 that you finished 10th in the nation cross country in your category? Yes. That's amazing. I mean, I, I'm just going to say, listen, because what it is, this show, Anna L., is, is, it's about showing people real-life examples of people that had a goal and had the ability to overcome every obstacle that was in front of them to reach their goal, and you are an example of that. So we're so proud of you. We thank you so much thank for you. being a wonderful example. Now, listen, I got to ask you, were there any moments that you felt like you didn't want to do this anymore, that, that, that track or the whole experience about coming here, did you have any experience where you just felt like it's just too hard for me? Well, of course, like, they're, like, really, really hard moments, but I never allow myself to give up. Like, wow. I'm, like, I didn't come all the way across the ocean just to give up. So, wow. like, yes, for sometimes I was, like, oh, my God, it's so hard. Like, why me? And, like, I don't deserve this. And why is it so hard? But never felt like, okay, I'm done. Like, wow. never. Wow. It was not even, yeah. yeah. I love it. I love it. Well, listen, I got to tell you, I, it's, you are truly – and inspiration because everybody watching live or that will watch it live on YouTube uh, weeks later and years later, they're going to hear you and, and, and say that for a young lady as yourself that have traveled so far to come to the U.S. that, that, that had a dream and a vision and everything that you dealt with. Um, if you look back now 
would you have done anything different? Um, I don't know, because I do <laughs> think that everything happens for a reason. Yes. And if something was different, I don't think it would happen this way. So, yes, it was hard, and yes, sometimes I would, um, I would like for things to be um, like maybe easier, but mm -hmm. I think I wouldn't change anything. Wow, powerful, powerful. Listen, I gotta, you got to explain to me, because on this show we always talk about every step, every experience helps to build you uh, for the next place that you're going to be. So, so we're, again, we're, we're proud of Yes, it does. It really does. And so I gotta, you got to share with me, because to, to, to hold two, two track records, um, tell me about your training. I mean, is it one day a week, two days a week, every day? <laughs> it's every day. <laughs> every day? It's six days, yeah, six wow. days over seven. Sometimes seven, I'd seven. Wow. It depends. And, <laughs> and, and so walk me through a day. Are you getting up at like, like seven, six, four, eight? I mean, what's your day like? Well, it depends on the season. During cross country, most of our training is in the morning. So around 6 a.m., 6.30, we have to be on the track wow. or wherever we have to run. Um, during spring season, since it's only it's track season, um, we sometimes we have run in the morning around seven ish, and then we have a second practice around three, three ish. <laughs> but it's not every day; it's like about two or three times a week. And and so, how many hours a day would you say on average? Average, um, I don't know, like three. Wow. Average, yeah. Okay, okay. That's 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 awesome. So, um, do you do anything different during the season? Do you change up your, 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 your schedule? Do you go out less? Do you do different? Do you do anything different during the season? Oh, yeah, definitely. I try not to stay up too late. Um, eat correctly. Um, get enough sleep. Um, I mean, like, regular stuff that makes sense, I guess. Absolutely. Absolutely. Listen, um, before we go on, if you want to call into the show, you can talk to Anna L. I'm telling you right now, 609 807 2492. 609 807 2492. Anna L., I got to ask you because, again, you, you're such a, a wonderful inspiration. And why, why do you keep going on? Why do you keep setting these goals? Why, why is that important to you? Um. I don't know. I just want to see how far I can go. And then mm. once I see that day, I guess I can stop. Wow. <laughs> but um, I love right it. now, I'm not yes. satisfied. So we'll see how far I can go. I love it. I love it. And you said such a powerful word about being satisfied. I, I, you know, everybody that knows me, you know, from my, my day job and, and my other stuff that I do, is, is know that I'm always seeking more. I'm always yes. having dreams, right? You know? So, so, so mm -hmm. I'm not just satisfied where I'm at. Do you have any other dreams? What are your other dreams that you have? Um, <laughs> um, well, in track or like in everyday life? In everyday life, in track? Uh, in track, I would say, well, go to the Olympic for sure, make two national team in France. Wow. Um, Awesome. Um, I don't know. I want to travel more. Definitely, I love traveling. So, uh, travel is definitely on my list. Um, I would like to be. Uh, I, I like um, everything in relation with biomechanics and sports science and everything. So, I would like to get a job in this area. That would be my dream. Awesome. <laughs> um, awesome. Yeah. That's about it, and be happy, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Be happy. That's right. You want to be happy. You, yeah, you want to enjoy what you're doing. And I'm telling you right yeah. now, it's, 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 it's what I love about you is that there's, there's a, I can hear it in your voice. Even though you, you've written on the paper that you like to win and like to accomplish and like to achieve, I can hear it in your voice, Anna L. I can hear the greatness in your voice. And, and so I'm, I'm just so proud of you. All of us here at Hamilton Radio, everybody watching live right now on Facebook, calling into the show, we are just so, so proud of you. And I got to ask you, because, again, there's so much that you've accomplished. How do you balance your time? Because right now, not only have you uh, acquired your bachelor's in exercise science and, 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 and so forth, but how did you balance it from your schoolwork to your track to your, to, to your workouts to your life? How did you balance all of that? Um, well, organization play um, 
a really great role in all of that. I guess it's all about listing what you're doing, trying to make notes, and um, um, managing your time the best way as possible so you won't waste any. Mm. And yeah, like do one thing after another and try not to waste time. I think that's I how I get here. Yes, yes, and uh, listen, I'm telling you, when you come, I need you, whenever you come to New Jersey, I need you to come to Hamilton Radio, and, and because I got to meet you, because I'm telling you right now, what you just said, I said the last time, Ruben, I said, listen, don't, whatever time that you've been given, use the time that you got, but use it, connect it with okay. your purpose, right, you know, so yes. it's, it's important that the time that you have is to connect it with the purpose of what you're trying to do that's going to bring you to the next level. Listen, my, 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 my friends, I got one right here in, in the studio lot. They all know. I don't waste time, Anna L. Every time that I, somebody said, Troy, when do you find time? Because it is my time. It, it, it's like, like I, I don't spend time just sitting home watching television or just hanging. I'm, I'm always doing something that's going to take me further. How do you? How do you balance, again, I, I said it before, but um, how do you organize your time? Like, like, how do you prioritize things in life? Because I know the way I well, do I wake up, Well, I wake up in the morning and I already know what I have to do. Like, I have to do this it. homework and I have to go to practice at this time, not be late and go to class and all that. So I try to make a kind of a mental map, kind of a mental list. Love and it. I'm like, okay, I need to do that. And right after this building is by this one, so I can just, you know, try to manage everything that goes in the same area and just, you know, work for it and that don't get distracted. That's um, pretty important. I love but it. Know what you want to do and then just follow. Wow. It's like a map. Wow. Know what you want to do. She said, listen, everybody, Anna L said, know what you want to do. It's like a mental map. I love what you said, Anna L. And I'm telling you right now, have, having a mental map of, of, of what you want to do because you want to maximize your time. I'm telling you, but listen, I got up and I knew what, listen, I got, you know, notes. I got tons of papers. I carry, listen, I'm going to tell you this, Anna L. Folks, folks laugh at me, right? But I, I have so many bags of notes and stuff and things that, that I carry a suitcase, a roller suitcase to uh, work every day. People laugh at me and say, where are you going? You leaving? I, I say, yep, I'm leaving <laughs> every day. But, but I got to have. I got to have with me the things that's going to help to propel me greater and further all the time because I, I have a notepad, like, like a pen and paper at home on my desk next to my bed because ideas come to me. You know, Anna L, they, they, they like, so I got to be ready. And I love that about yeah, you. Yeah, you never know what's going on. So. Yes, that's right. So, so I got to ask you, what, what, how do you prepare yourself for a track meet? Because I can only imagine with, with the crowd, with, with all the people around you, your coaches, the people next to you, those running in the track meet, how do, do you tell yourself anything? How do you prepare for that moment, for, 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 for when that gun goes off to, to go? Well, um, like I say, whatever you do in practice, you're going to repeat it in, um, in the track. So I think um, the preparation starts in practice. So... Each time we have a workout, I try to put myself in kind of like a race mindset. So whenever I get in the race, I'm not that much stressed because I've trained for it. Wow. So before um, any race, I, before the warm-up, I try to like, I don't know, get five or ten minutes alone and like focus. Kind of, it's not really meditation, but it's more like visualization of what I want to do. I have a plan, okay, I, like you want to get up this way and try to like kind of cancel out whatever factors is around and yes. try to like really focus on yourself and not others. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm telling you right now, I've talked about on this show every week uh, about the ability to connect yourself with people that are going places th and, and, and places that inspire you to, 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 to dream and, and take that step. I love what you just said about, about trying to block out all the distractions that's around you because we have a whole lot of them. <laughs> we have a whole lot of them, don't we, Anna L? Because there's things that, 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 that people may not have the same goals or have the same mm -hmm. dreams, but, but I love that about you where you're able to focus on, on what it is that you're looking to achieve. Now, you got to tell me, Anna, listen, 800 meters and, and, and 1,500 meters. Now, how many times is that around the track? How many times do I have to run that on the track? No, no. How many times around the track is the um, 800 meters and the 1,500? 
802 laps okay. outdoor. So okay. it's 400 uh, round. And uh, 1,500 is about three laps and three quarters. Wow. Wow. Three Let's, half, yeah. Well, let me just tell you, I'm going to... I'm going to applaud you again because I remember, I don't know if anybody out there remember, in high school, we had to run around the track and, and get time. And I don't know if it was like what, I hardly made it around Anna L. I, 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 you know, I got around it a little bit, but you had to get like a certain time. And I was like, really? I'm, I'm just trying to graduate high school. Like, like, like well, I got to run around the track. But I'm just saying, it was, it was a moment where it let me, what I love about what you said earlier was that sometimes you never know what you're able to do unless you do it. And, and, and yeah. I love that about your, your, your presence is the ability. You will never know. I never did this before, Anna L. This is, this is show number 30 for me. And, and I'm excited about that you're, you're on show, my final show of 2018. So I'm so excited that you are our guest. And I'm honored to have you. And I thank you so much. Thank you. But, but what I love is that I, I didn't, have all of this like I didn't go to school but but as I took the step I began to learn more about it is there something that you did not foresee in track that once you got into it you realized you know what I gotta do this I gotta do that I got was there something th that you did not anticipate that that c that came to you after you got into it um like you mean like training wise or yes, like yeah training wise mindset. or event wise yes anything that you didn't didn't expect um i didn't expect to put that much hours into it mm. um i thought just training two times three times a week because like for a really long time i was on the train like i was good to try only like two times a week or like maybe three at the most. Right. And I, I mean, that was enough. <laughs> but um, after <laughs> the long haul, sure. you, you really have to put the time and the hours. Right. And you, like, it's necessary to, like, get to the next level. You have to work. Yeah. Like, yes. it, it won't come like that. I love it. I love so it. A lot of, yeah, a lot, a lot of hours. <laughs> a lot of hours. And, and people, listen, I, I tell people every day. I get up every day, Ruben, 5.30. 5.30 every morning because I got, well, actually 5.20 because I got something I got to do at 5.30 every day. And I get up, then I do a little something on, on uh, social media in the morning. But my day is usually at least, you know, I don't really kind of go to sleep until sometime between 10 and 11. So it's a long day for me, and I, and I can only imagine. But I love what you said that it's about the hours, putting in the time and, and, yeah. and, and putting in the quality time. And, uh, you know, people say, Troy, how do you, it's what I love to do. It's, it's what I love. So do you love track? Yes, I do. <laughs> and, like, it's not even, like, working for me. I just like, right. I just like, you know, working on the little things. I mean, it's yes. just fun. I mean, sometimes, I mean, I'm, I won't lie. Sometimes I just don't want to, like, go on a 10 mile run because, like, I don't want to. But, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like, most of the days, I like it. <laughs> yes. Listen, I love, listen. I love this, Ruben. I, I, I love coming here every week because this, this platform, Anna L, gives me the ability to inspire somebody, to uplift somebody, to say, you can do this. No matter what, you can do this. Yes, you can. I, I got a young man right now. He, listen, you can do this. Whatever he dreams, whatever he want to do in life. They, they, yeah, everybody got challenges. Everybody got some stuff that they got to go through. But it's the ability to press through if you want to. But I love this, Ruben. I love this. I love this, Anna L. And I thank you so much. And I so appreciate you. I got to ask you, what, what would you say? Um, what would you say are some of the qualities that a person needs to have to reach their goals? Because I know that you've done so much, uh, again, from, from learning English, coming from Paris, France, from having there be a delay in you getting into the university, uh, from not being able to go home for the holiday, for being able to, to, to so many changes. What would you say are some of the qualities that a person should have in order to reach that, that next goal in life? Um, definitely dedication, um, uh, hard work, yes. and uh, self-discipline. I think that's a big word. Self-discipline is um, about doing the thing that you don't want to do mm. even you know if it's good for you yes you 
like I think that's a, that's a big key. Yes, yes. Doing things that may be needed, but you don't feel like doing. Yes. Yes, yes. And that is so true, Anna L., because I'll tell you right now, sometimes in life, we don't want to do, but listen, when I realized Anna L., I wasn't, you know, I love school. I, 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 I enjoy going, you know, classes and, 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 and things. But when I realized what I needed to, I realized I had to have a certain GPA, grade point average in high school to get to college, right, to, to, to the certain one that I wanted to go and have a certain SAT back then. So I realized yeah. what, what was required of me. And, and that is so important. And what you just shared is knowing what is required of you to get to the next level. And, and so, um, you know, if I know that it requires me to have five bricks to get over to the next, then I understand what is going to be required. And if you don't know, Anna L., I always tell people on this show, if you don't know, do what? Ask somebody. If, if, so yeah. I got to ask you now, who now? Who, what? Was there a person that inspired you now? Like, what, what motivates you now? Is it, is, it a, is it just you internally? Is it, is it someone that you're connected with? Uh, is, it, is it something outside? What is it that keeps you motivated in, in, in doing what you're doing, both track, educationally? Because right now, you are pursuing a master's degree. Yes. So, so what is it that keeps you motivated? Um, I know that... Um to do the job that I want to do, I need to get a master. I need to get um, yes. um, some experience and connections and all of that. So that keeps me motivated uh, in this direction. And by track, um, I know if I want to keep running after college, I need to uh, reach a certain level, especially if I want to stay in the, in the States for a couple of years. Yes. Um, so, yeah, that's my goal right now. And Al, listen, listen, I got about, about, about 10 minutes left on the show, but I got just a couple more questions I got to ask you. Did, you. did you have to sacrifice? What, what, did you have to give up anything? Did you have to, have to what, 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 would you, what did you have to sacrifice to, to get where you are? Um, um, well, I moved away from my parents. So that, that was a big sacrifice. Yes, like, I absolutely. know they miss me and I miss them sometimes, but I mean... Wow how to do it so that's yes. one of that's one of it and um well party definitely i can party as much as <laughs> a regular student right, right um and uh i mean i don't drink in season i try to uh not like eat junk food and you know fast food and all of that so like but i guess i, I was raised like that so that was not too hard to give up on um yeah. Um, what else? Um, that's a lot, Anna L. That's a lot. That's a lot, <laughs> that's a lot of sacrifice. Is it? Yes. Yes. I mean, that's what it takes. Like you it can does. try to run fast and eat fast food every day. Like you have to sacrifice some stuff. Yes. 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 And listen, any any athlete, because 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 listen, I got I got somebody in the studio now. Listen, they play softball. Went to college. Phenomenal athlete. Doing, doing so many, but it's about sacrifice. What is it that you're willing to give up to get something more than what you got? And, 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 and a lot of it is time, you know? And, and so, you know, yeah. when, 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 you know, when I wanted to have the MVP of my high school baseball team, it was about a sacrifice. You know, I had to put in time at the batting cages and, and, and running and exercising, but it's about a sacrifice. And so um, I thank you for sacrificing. We thank you for your sacrifice. We do. Anna L, because you, you, you are such an inspiration, um, and we so appreciate you being on our show. We've got about, about nine minutes, eight minutes left. Is there anything, Anna L, that you want to say to those listening to inspire them? This show, again, is all about sharing your journey, about things that you've had to overcome to get where you are, to inspire somebody else to take that step and to dream and to walk in their purpose. And so, uh, is there anything else that you want to share with our audience at all at this point in time? Um, well, if you really, really want to do something, um, just go for it. And I, I try to it. put everything that you have in your power to go get it. Yes. Don't be afraid. I think, I think that's my word for today. I love it. I love it. And now, listen, listen. Um, 
I got to talk to you about, again, not, not being afraid. Were you, were you ever afraid in NL? Um, no, not really. Yeah, good. <laughs> but, That's great. I mean, some, some, <laughs> sometimes I was like, I doubt it. I was like, right, maybe right, yes right, or right. not, or maybe, you know, it's too much, or maybe, but like, it was never fear. It was more like a doubt. I lo- listen, listen, I'm telling you right now, I, I've said every week here, Anna L., listen, all of us get nervous. Anybody get nervous, you know, yeah. and they'll be like, no, I don't. But listen, I'm telling you right now, I'm willing to, listen, if, 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 if I can bungee jump, y'all, listen, I, I, you know, I was, I, was, I was a lot younger, though. But if I had the nerve because somebody, you know, it was kind of like encouraging me. But if I can bungee jump, anybody can do anything. I, I, I'm just saying. Uh, but it, 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 it's, it's the ability to not allow fear to hold you back. I, I've said, listen, we all get nervous. I get nervous. Come in, you know, you know, it's excitement, but it's like nervous excitement <laughs> about 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 <laughs> c- coming every week. So I gotta ask you, when you're on the track, are you nervous at all? Uh, yes, yeah, sometimes, like before a big meet, definitely. Like I get nervous, but I try to control and like um, take this uh, stress in a good way. Right, right, right. It will come out great. Yes, but but isn't it a good feeling? When you uh, cross that finish line at the end? Yes. Yes. Yes, it's good for me. Yes. It's worth it. <laughs> yes. And, and, and Anna L, every week, every Monday, see, this is a special show, but every Monday night from 8 to 9 o'clock, this is my track meet, Anna L. When I cross that okay. finish, when, 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 when my time is up and I sign off every week, I'm telling you, it's such a rush. It's hard for me to go to sleep, Anna L, because I'm driving home, Ruben. <laughs> And, and, and I'm so excited about what just took place. I'm, I'm talking to Anna L. from Paris, France, who didn't know English, came over, learned English, had an experience where you didn't know, you knew somebody, then they left, didn't, they didn't know what you wanted to do. Then you had to, took the test again, and then you came over, you went to school, and, and all of the things that you had to sacrifice, I'm, I'm honored to be talking with you. I thank you so thank much. You. you you are such a blessing, and I thank you for sharing your journey because somebody is being encouraged by what you just said um, to leave your family. Now, I don't know how many people in this room or, or, or watching live could leave their family to come to the U.S. from Paris, France, not knowing English, having to learn English, and then to, I'm telling you. So, so thank you so much for being a wonderful inspiration to us. And I thank you for, and I'm so excited because you're going on to get your master's. That is wonderful. That is, thank you. Uh, now, are you looking to, when you get your job, your, your wonderful job, are you going to be looking to uh, work here in the U.S. or go back to Paris, France? But for now in the U.S., I want to get experience first and then we'll see where I end up. Wow. Well, listen, all I can say, Anna L., it is, I'm looking forward to meeting you one day. And I'll tell you right now, I, I got to get your autograph. Um, when, we, when we get a chance to meet, I got to get your picture. I got to get a picture with you. So I don't know. I, I've never been to Arkansas. Um, I don't know if I have any plans to come to Arkansas <laughs> at this time. Um, but if you ever come to New York, uh, if you ever come to New Jersey in that tri-state area, sort of Pennsylvania, uh, definitely, if you got a track meet uh, out this way, please. Let me know. Um, have you ever run track? Okay. In, have, have, you, um, have you ever run track in New York? No, never. Okay, okay, okay. Well, well, please. I, you know, I follow you on social media, and so um, I'm hoping that maybe one day you have a track meet out this way somewhere, and maybe I'll get a chance to uh, drive up or, or, or fly out somehow, maybe one day. But thank you so much. Is there anything? Is, is there more you want to say? We got about four minutes left. Um, no, I have nothing else to say. I think we covered it up. Awesome, awesome. Well, I just want to thank you, Anna L., for calling in to our show. We are such, we are blessed the more because you sacrificed your time to give it to us. And I thank you so much. Thank you. We so appreciate you. I wish you continued blessings. I know that you're going to get your master's. I know that every dream that you set forth to go to nationals, um, whether in, in France and and olympics and whatever you set your mind to i know you're going to do it because it's your destiny so i thank you so much 
We're so proud of Thank you. Thank you. Any more you want to say? You're good? <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, um, for inviting me in the show. And oh, thanks. Absolutely. Did you want to share your social media or not? Did you want to share your, your uh, oh, yeah. Instagram page? Yeah, why uh -huh. not? Yes. G go ahead. Um, so my Instagram is Anel dash Charles. And my favorite is Anel Charles. Awesome, awesome. Listen, everybody, I'm telling you right now, we're honored to have her. Um, and I wanted to say thank you so much, Anel. We appreciate you. Thank you. Um, and I know that we're going to see you somewhere doing something greater, greater, greater. But we're proud of you. And I wish you all thank the you. continued blessings. And thank you so much. We're so proud of you. Thank you, Anel Charles. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. Thank you so much, Anna L. Thank you. Thanks. Listen, everybody, I'm telling you right now, um, uh, uh, follow her on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, I'm telling you right now, it, she is amazing, um, and I'm just honored that she took the time to come on our show. And um, listen, I'm, I'm blessed. This is, this is show number 30. Ruben, we, we, we got... We got guests already lined up for, for January and February. We, we, we get, we're lining up guests for, for May already. And I'm telling you, it's going to be an amazing 2019. It's going to be an amazing year. Why? Because I choose to say it so. And I declare right now that everybody watching live right now or listening on that's calling in, open your mouth and declare it right now. Whatever it is that you are looking to do, whether it's, it's graduate from high school, get your college degree, uh, start that business. Um, uh, uh, become the MVP of your team, uh, be the highest scorer, uh, be the most, uh, uh, be the goalie that, that, that blocks every goal. Have that in your mind as you go into the game. I've said before, listen, don't go on the court thinking that the game is already over. You got to realize, you got to realize that when you go on, expect to win like Anna L said. Listen, she, she, she loved to win, so it was an expectation. So I'm telling you, whatever it is that you're looking to do, or to be go in it with expectation. How, how much time we got left, Ruben? Because, you know, I get excited. I got three minutes left. Listen, everybody, I told you before, uh, before uh, Anna L. came on the show, we're having a mentoring at the mall. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have it at, at another place, but, but, it, but, but it was so uh, uh, pressing in me. All I want to do is share what I know with others and help them develop a plan of action. We're calling it a, a plan of destiny, Ruben. It's called a plan of destiny. So, but you got to have a plan. I can have a dream, but you got to have a plan following the dream. Don't, don't just have a dream and just say, oh, I got a dream. No, you got to have more than a dream. You got to have a plan of how you're going to get there. NL called it a, a mental plan, having a plan in your mind. I, I already see the buildings, Ruben. Already see the, I see the grand open. I, I see what's going to be on the walls. I, I, I got it all lit, but I'm telling you right now, you got to have a vision. It's important to have vision. And what I encourage everybody right now is to put your vision on paper. It could be in your mind, but write it down. Don't, don't, don't worry about what the format is. Don't, 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 don't worry about what the font is. Just write it down. Write your vision, whatever it is, and, and, and have a plan every day. Have a plan every week, every month of where you want to be. I've told you I'm going to be a billionaire. Yes, I've declared it so, and so shall it be. Why not? Why can't it be me? Why can't I be like, Ruben, um, I think next week I'm going to Africa and just, and just go. Or, 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 or I'm going to buy five buildings. Uh, you know, y Yes, it's coming. Why? Because I speak it so. There's power in what you say. There's, there, there's power. And then you develop a plan of action to get where you're going to go. And, and, and you take every step. Don't worry about the time. You just keep moving. Don't worry about how late it is. Don't, don't matter what age it is. KFC Colonel Sanders, man, he was in his 60s, but he kept on working, making recipes about chicken. Recipe, but, but KFC didn't kick off though. He was like in his 60s, I think. I mean, but all I'm saying is just keep moving into the direction that you want to go. And the last thing I'll say is this. The reason why it's important to have a vision because you want to be going in the right direction. Don't, don't, because if you're not sent, if, if your compass isn't, isn't, isn't set, then you're just moving all around. 
But by the time you realize where did you want to be, you could have been there five years ago if you understood that was the direction that you wanted to go. So I encourage you, whatever it is, you may not know everything that you want to do, but if you love to speak, if you love to sing, if you love to write, Ruben, did you know that people get paid money to draw cartoons? I mean, who, who, who ever thought that I can draw a car? What, what your son or daughter do at home on a scribbly pad, they could be making big money and buy you a house with that. Yeah, but, but it's, it's worth for anybody. But all I'm saying, whatever gift, ability that you have, there's a place for it. There is a, and, and Ruben, how, how much time I got left? Because, you know, I get excited. Okay, okay. All right, listen. Last 30 seconds, but I'm telling you right now. If you love to watch movies, there's, there's movie critics, Ruben, that get paid to critique movies. Watch movies all the time. So all I'm saying to you is there is a place for your purpose. And so I thank you all so much for supporting us, these 30 shows. I'm excited. I thank you. And I'm getting ready for 2019, and it's going to be wonderful. I want you to take this journey with me. Meet me here every Monday night. This is my last show, so our, our first show is going to be, I think, January 4th, but, but we'll get it out to you. But, 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 but I'm telling you, thank you for taking this journey with me. And listen, if you can make next Saturday, December 29th, Second Baptist Church, 100 Durham Avenue, I would love to see you there. Again, we're just supporting those who sacrifice their life for the lives of others. January 7th. January 7th. So listen, I'm, I'm excited. So thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. And again, we're getting ready, Hamilton. So this is Troy Alexander. One more time signing off last time for 2018. It's racing with Troy Alexander. I'll see you January 7th at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much. Dream. Take that step and do what? Walk with purpose into your destiny. This is Troy Alexander. Have a blessed day.